Uh, see, the concern here is uh, when you make something accessible, free of cost to the poorest of the poor in this country and carry out a spectacular drive. One has to admit that, you know, for a country as huge as this, to cover that population, that too after the initial hiccups that we spoke about at length, uh, we uh, did a tremendous job. But then uh, when you put a fee to the boosters and say that anyone uh, can, it's open for all boosters, but uh, it'll be available at the private uh, centers, which means that you will have to go and pay for it. Does this disincentivize uh, a person getting boosted who may not have that, that amount of money? And thus, this will create a problem where the infections will spread again. New variants, new infections. Well, Sanket, you have to look at the reality on the ground. And the reality, the first reality is that India has done very well as far as vaccination is concerned. Uh, as Dr. Gerg also gave the figures, I don't want to repeat those figures. Uh, what we have been lacking is a clear booster policy. So the first booster policy that came was for people 60 and above nine months after uh, the second dose. All global data shows that uh, firstly, homologous booster as far as uh, COVID shield is concerned is not the best strategy when other vaccines are available to India. And if you give me just a minute, I'll elaborate on that. Uh, global data shows that uh, if you have received COVID shield, then the best booster you can get is a RNA vaccine, which is not available in India. But the next best is the protein vaccine also made by, uh, by Serum Institute, which is called Covavax. Now we make that vaccine, we manufacture that vaccine, but we have not deployed it as a booster. Uh, and I don't understand why that's the case. You know, India may, India has approved six, uh, nine vaccines. India manufactures five vaccines, but India largely uses only two vaccines. Uh, this is something that only policymakers can answer why that's happening. My hunch is that the booster policy that has come now will be modified later uh, and, and boosters will be available uh, in government hospitals as time goes on. But the reality on the ground is that most of India has either been infected or vaccinated. Mm. Uh, and when I say most, if this is 95 plus percent. Mm. So people would still be protected from disease very well. As far as your objection about variants developing, uh, well, uh, no vaccine prevents infection. Mm. Uh, and we have seen this. Mm. Uh, so I, I think it's, it's, it's time to uh, accept this. It's time to celebrate the opening of boosters, at least to those who are willing and unfortunately also afford uh, boosters. Mm. But I'm hoping that two corrections will be made in future. Mm. The first correction is that we would use the best boosters that are available. Uh, and second is that boosters will in future become more equitable.